early leaderships and rise of great theory today we'll be speaking about leadership great theory in this particular presentation yes what is leadership you look at it the one of the mesmerizing corporate personality that ever bestowed on this planet steve jobs a wonderful innovator a wonderful invent inventor a wonderful administrator a wonderful marketer a wonderful person at the core of the heart now i have used only one word to describe steve jobs as wonderful not because he fund, founded the most profitable company right now present on this planet apple it is the ability to influence the group towards those achievement of the goals and that is what is leadership is all about it it is the management use of authority inherent in a designated formal rank to obtain compliances from the organizational member time and again as on when on basis that is what is leadership is all about it it is not only leading from the front also at times you are just managing just from behind altogether it is the authority that been inherited because of the position that you actually possess in an organization this might be all about formality remember management is a formal structure but leadership is out and above the formal structure it is it remains it might be within the realm of formalities but it can bask in the glories of informal sectors also so that is what the trait theories of leadership is all about it theories that considers personalities social physical and intellectual traits of different leaders from non leaders and believe me or not in irrespective of what position anybody is working it is their trait which will enable that him to be much more successful in the program that he leads on to it leadership traits are all about extroversive versions consciousness openness and emotional intelligence the way to perceive the feelings and botherings of the thoughts of the others that is what is the trait that we all espouse to be all we strive to achieve is what exactly makes a leader click and what doesn't for us so limitations are no universal trait has ever been found that can predict leadership in absolutely every situation and unclear evidences of the causes and the effect of relationships of leaders and traits that comes around it yes we are very much not sure about it what makes a leader happen the way the success that comes around him or her it is never a better predictor of appearances of leadership then distinguish the effectiveness and ineffective of leaders uh, leader you have mahatma gandhi who was clad in a loin cloth and become became a father of a particular nation that we come around it and then we can have george roosevelt who was always in a proper attire or for that matter any person that comes in your uh, in your in your realms of things you remember you remember the fact the leaders are born not of the situation or the perspective leaders are born because of their followers been ascribing to their beliefs and their viewpoint and that is what the limitations is all about it there are no clear absolutely acceptable trait that a leader enjoy with clarity so trait example are extra versions of consciousness and openness this is what we are talking about it people a person who goes out to reach the uh, out to reach to the other members of the community and society at large is the extra version of themselves or believe that they are having the empathy factor of going to the consciousness of the people of the person in and around them the openness that they belong to assumptions the leaders are born definitely the trait approach people do presume it to be but unless and then until till now it has not been provided provided the truth around it the goals are to select leaders the problem trade do not generalize across situation it is a matter of fact automatically happens it is better at predicting leaders emergence than leaders effectiveness we are here to show and show that the emergence of a leader happens probably probably we can ascertain but are they going to be effective and even so if they are effective as of this moment will they be effective throughout the the rest of their life probably not so now we talk about the trait theories it represent a personal characteristics and differentiate leaders from the follower the leaders what we are looking at them how do we go and access them historic finding reveals that the leaders and followers vary vary not only in intelligence vary in dominance vary in self confidence 
levels of energy and activity tasks relevant knowledge that comes around it we are all aspiring it to be happening it with relative ease as the case might be yes the contemporary finding shows the other fact that the leaders for our prototypes the people people tend to perceive someone as a leader if he or she exhibit particular trait associated with certain ability skills that is as uh, that is resembles their intelligent masculinity or dominance leadership prototypes are cultural based and we are looking at it credible leaders are honest forward looking and inspiring and competent absolutely yes those leaders are the person who are absolutely transparent as far as their actions and uh, and thought process is all about it we need to understand the fact now trait theories are genders and leadership workshop more men and women were seen as displaying more tasks and social leadership respectively thereby gaining an answers to what is looking into it are they differentiated does leadership get bestowed based on the day on their genders probably not women use a more democratic more participative style than the men men are much more autocratic in nature who are much more directive style than the women as compared when compared all together so if women are empathetic men at best would be sympathetic men and women are equally and absolutely assertive as they can be women executive when rated by their peers and managers and direct report scored much higher than the male counterparts on a variety of an effective criteria now let me tell you discuss you with the different traits of a leadership success first and foremost is the drive of a people that comes around there the drive that ensures that the leaders are absolutely applying themselves for the upgradations of their community society or the upholding of their ideals then there is the self confidence that is much more understood and deciphered time and again creativity is what we are looking forward to it a leader who is creative a leader who is amalgamating all kind of vision perspective and coming out with an out of box solution cognitive abilities is what we are looking into it business knowledge motivation flexibility honesty and integrity is what the essential crux of the material is all about we are looking forward to such kind of uh, interventions that is what we should be doing about it leaders cannot have a fixated notions all together they should be able flexible and uh, should i be should i say they should be legibly swayed about by the rationality of the situation they should honestly admit their mistake if there any the integrity of the leaders should never be questioned they should be above that kind of issues of petty issues that we all huddle into model into probably that is what we should go about by it yes these are the eight important traits of leadership success absolutely must that one should always possess around it let us understand the behaviors behaviors theory focuses on how leader behave when they are working with their peers when they are working with their superiors and when they are working with their followers leadership behavior changes or are the same and univocal with their respective of whom they talk to whom they uh, associate get associated with leadership styles are recurring patterns of behavior exhibited, exhibited by the leaders basic dimension of leadership behaviors are concern for task and concern for people so one of the uh, aspects of their leaders are who are task oriented or though there are other aspect who are people oriented who value human as with their all their dignity or who values the achievement of goals as the prime objective all together so let us have those people concern and task concern and discuss with you what exactly is all about it people the leaders with a task concern always plan and define the work the steps of about it assigns the responsibility to each individual member as to who is going to accomplish what kind of task set clear work standard urges task completion monitor performances result thereby whereas on the other way the people concerns are acting warm and supportive towards the follower develop social rapport with the follower respect the feelings of the follower is sensitive to the follower needs and shows trust in the follower as in what we have been talking around it this is what we are saying it up front with you people act warm act supportive you are taking in consideration that human beings are um, 
bundle of energies and emotion new you need to nurture those emotion you need to nurture that energy to the benefit so building up a social rapport and having the sense of mutual respect for each other is what we are looking at the people centric behaviors people centric leaders they are sensitive to the needs of the followers so let me understand and come to the penultimate slide of this presentation i'll go with the blake and mouton leadership grid in which we have been talking about the concerns for production or tasks as i've been saying around it and concern for people of a people oriented when people are low the concern for people and is low and concern for task is low is a laissez faire leadership who's a improvised manager as on when it goes the leader it is like a rudderless boat but when the concern of people is very high but the concern for production is low so you are more interested in protecting the right of the workers it's a country club manager so it's something where it's a human relation leader you are looking at the people requirement but what happen when people are only interested in the task or the production and less concern for the people now this is where it is autocratic or authority obedience managers the autocratic leader comes about takes a shape it remembers talks about goals talks about hard goals on efficiency of task and operation and the best one comes around which is both on high on people and high on task is a team leaders who is the managers who is a democratic leader focuses about striking a balance between task and people but yes that there is something called a middle of the road manager as on when and required based on the situation focus on balancing both the work output and morale out there probably we are talking about the middle of the road managers that comes around it so there are existingly five leadership style according to blick can put on leadership grid let me take you to the last slide of the day for this particular presentation that i want to come up with it there are basically four style which we go about it the classic leadership styles are of all autocratic which is basically we are entrusted on to the task word over the people where in human relation style is people over the task we are much more concerned we take people more uh, responsibly we are very concerned about them their well being and we would not like to compensate any of their rights then there's a laissez faire style which shows neither concern for task or people is it like a rudderless boat altogether democratic style is committed to both everything about the objectives of the organization about the concerns of the people this is what the leadership traits and behavior is all about it this i come to an end of this presentation i hope by this particular crisp presentation would have been entrenched in your mark to understand what are the traits which is required as far as leadership is concerned thank you for watching this video